since the first time I've recorded this video, my opinion about many things have changed. I decided to give comments to some of my thoughts. I will try to cover most of your frequent, amazing global questions. So, first of all, a little introduction. I'm Tanya Shatsova, acrylic artist based in Russia. I paint in surrealism, but I prefer to call it borderline. Where do I get ideas? What inspires me? I think the person got the ideas not because uh, something from outside inspires him. He got the idea because he has something important inside. I've always been curious and ask myself tons of questions and even about things that considered to be obvious and I always get fascinated by things and feel some kind of euphoria of knowledge. In my opinion, it's the most important thing to get fascinated, not to be confused with staying positive, because I'm sorry about that, but staying positive is bullshit. It's like your sincere gratitude for the reality that you get, that can't be faked. Your fascination is like your invitation to participate in this art project, but it is not enough. The more ideas you materialize, the more ideas you are getting, because by your action you show to inspiration God that you are capable, responsible and decent and that is how you are going up to the ladder to your artistic ladder I don't think style is something you can invent with your brain. I think it's better to focus on things you can improve, like understanding shapes, color, composition, etc. and understanding your own self. I'd better search for inner harmony than for style. The style will have to appear. Questions like what gets me motivated and what I do during artist block, etc. I don't believe in artist block. Uh, what I feel is just energy flow cycle and what I do is I try to synchronize with it. When I feel the energy is the lowest because it's reloading, I do different tasks from my list like preparing references or working on digital files or mounting a video. Of course, it's more complicated and has more stages and I'm not uh, super perfect at synchronizing with my energy. It can be difficult when you've got deadlines, so I always try to avoid them. I take a lot of notes and I write down everything that I plan. Also, it is important not to overestimate your superpowers. It always seems that you can do something faster than you are actually able to do it. So it's very important to stop lying yourself. Question about how do I get motivated to finish my work? I think I'm obsessed with finishing things. Energy and Patience also comes with practice. Do you paint full time? If so, did you have to make the transition from working elsewhere to working more on your art? What got you into painting? Uh, what advice do you have for those a working day job and making the transition? Yes, I'm a full time artist and I start 
when I was 21. That was a time of dramatic changes in my life. I went to USA and got into unbelievable adventures and worked as a stripper and traveled a lot. I realized so many things and my priorities have changed. I discovered secret power in me. That was the biggest change in my life so far. Big changes in my life happen every four years. Four is the main number in my life and I often build my decisions on that number. I didn't have any transition, maybe except transition between taking more commissions to focusing on my personal art. But that was a huge one. It wasn't without pain and hard decisions for me. Moreover, I think it's an essential part of being an artist. One of my best motivations is death. What's the point of spending your running time in hesitation, frustration, waiting for some miracle or fearing anything. You are going to die anyway. You are going to die. You can uh, get into some kind of heaven or wake up or disappear or unite with the universe. You will never exist again. You may wonder how all this death thing helps me to light my artistic fire but it really does keeps me awake i strongly feel what i really want to do and that it is my time to perform what is your best advice for getting started as an up and coming artist there is a huge difference between what you know and what you really really totally and deeply understand and no one never ever will make you understand anything unless something that is already inside you suddenly click and that something is strongly connected to a life experience the only sec secret trick is in the amount of your neural connections that are increasing with your life experience. If you are searching for some kind of guidance instead of getting art and life experiences, you're wasting your time. It's not even an advice, I think, but just my view. Create what you are really into and it may be controversial. This is the only way you can reach your artistic goals only by doing what you really love what you believe in uh, you should be prepared to what people would say and people will definitely do this learn to enjoy it truly i mean enjoy all kind of feedback and uh, all kinds of people's reaction. Would you ever want to post slow videos or even tutorials for new by? Yeah, I've planned to uh, create Patreon page soon. Uh, so as soon as uh, my situation will get stable with my studio, I would definitely do that. I will let you know as soon as it is ready. Mikaela Flores What artist inspires you the most? I love Vrubin most of all and I feel that I understand exactly what he felt and I think Princess Swan is the best thing ever created on the planet. When he was in the mental hospital and got blind he thought if he would stand in front of the open window in the winter God will give him the ice made of emerald Do you have any pets? Do you live alone? I live with my boyfriend uh, who is my main 
Muse and my personal sort of Galatea and three reds. Nick Mix. I find acrylic so frustrating to work with because it dries much too quickly. What do you do to combat that? Nothing, because it's uh, one of the reasons why I chose acrylics. Katarte 05. What do you do or think before start an artwork? I drink mate. Kaskadav. Have you ever tried painting with gouache? I've tried to paint with gouache, oils, watercolors, in digital painting, charcoal, pencils, and even things that I like to keep in secret. Van Gogh. What kind of music do you listen to? Do you listen to music when you paint? I prefer to listen to audiobooks because audiobooks don't distract me from painting while music does. Uh, and when I need the maximum concentration, I even don't listen to anything and focusing on my own thoughts. And I'm okay being with my own thoughts. The color AD and I want to know uh, the things you like, music, movies, instruments and books. Dostoevsky, Bulgakov, Nabokov, Pilevin, Huxley, Orwell, James Joyce, Camus. Also one of my favorites is Daniel Keyes' Flowers for Algernon. Lesia Poplavskaya, Kenya Ilian Art. How often do you feel like your art isn't good enough? Or are you content with your style? I feel a healthy hate to my art. Often when I finish a piece, I feel that I'm totally blind. And after some time, I begin to see uh, some parts and moments that I did well and that I love. I still love painting and my creations. By hate I mean seeing mistakes and where the things uh, could be done better, where I was better stop and not overdoing things. Recently I often meet this theory about your mind outpacing your ability on five or six years it means that what you're picturing and what you are willing to do now you will be able to create easily in five years I totally see that today's failures uh, would be considered by myself as a great success five years ago Turanski drama How do you feel art today? Today, if you are talented and put some efforts, there's no way you will die from hunger. It is more easier today to become successful and it is more difficult to become great. Do I picture my journey the same as it goes now? I have always knew that if you love something and if you push yourself and make an effort, and uh, speaking about art, the effort should be really huge. I mean, if you're ready to pay for a dream, the dream will come true and it is coming true. However, I don't think I've ever pictured my way. Shani Kalev, Art. What is your biggest struggle when working on a commission? Today I only take those commissions that wouldn't cause me an extra struggle. In the past I did absolutely nonsense commissions that I hope never ever will be published anywhere. Especially I remember the last one of those was even enjoying uh, finishing it 
because I've already knew that it will be the last one. And since then, if I take a commission, it is for sure something I would love to create. Juliet Hillbrand, how to begin submitting to galleries or even just gaining Instagram followers? Is it all hashtags? I think it is better to have some great works on your profile and less followers than uh, the other way around. Work on your art and put some minimum hashtags or uh, tag some sharing accounts. People will love it and they would love to share it. Irene deal. If you have to choose an animal as a unique one to draw on your pics, what one would it be? Well, it's difficult. Um, I think I will choose human, though it's not my favorite animal. Oh, Lucy Moon. Oh, water seems to be one of the big themes in your art. Any particular reason why? There is much water in my paintings, but there is also much air. I have clear memory of breathing under water when I was a child. I can't name any particular reason why I paint water. It's mysterious. Nail and nail. What do you do to become creative? Light scandals? Watch YouTube videos? Yes, exactly. I light up candles and begin to watch YouTube videos and just let the creativity fill me. Getting inspiration from others is great, but uh, the main part uh, still should be your own practice and self-discovering, because while you are watching others work and uh, getting inspired from them, your own artistic skills are not moving anywhere. So this is the end. This is the end. Beautiful friend. Decided to leave all questions uh, regarding my materials and techniques for the next video. Comment your questions below. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you all so much.